The water we use in our homes comes from different sources. In the past, the water was clean. It was not polluted with waste, garbage or sewage. We could trust water. But not so anymore. The growing contamination of water sources, as you have seen, has an impact on both ecosystem and human health. When we drink water from bow wells, hand pumps, open wells or any public drinking water source, it is important that the water is of good quality for good health. Bad quality water results in people getting sick and having adverse impacts on health. Diarrhea and vomiting is normally caused by bacterial contamination of water. It can be deadly if not treated in time, especially in young children. <laughs> to avoid getting sick with fever, vomiting or diarrhea, boil water for 10 minutes and let it cool down before using it for drinking. Boiling kills the bacteria in water and will keep you in good health. If the water is so muddy that you cannot use it for bathing, washing and other purposes, there is a way to clean it. For 10 litres of water, use one large spoon of alum. Stir it in water for 5 minutes. After 30 minutes, when the water is too muddy, keep aside the alum mixed water for up to 12 hours. Remember to filter the water before drinking. In some areas, you may find reddish water, which does not taste good. The reddish color comes from the presence of iron in the water. To clean this water, you can create a simple sand and pebble filter. Fill a large bucket at the bottom with sand, then with pebbles, and on the top of it, with gravel. Pour water into the bucket now. This water is now clear. Boil it before drinking. Remember to clean the sand and gravel once in 15 to 20 days. If the water you use is oily, there is a way to clean it. Take a piece of cloth and spread it over a bucket. Put activated carbon over this. the oily water into this. When you do this, the activated carbon absorbs all the oil and the water you get is purified. 
half a kilo activated carbon is enough to meet the drinking water needs of your household of five members for three to four months. Sometimes you may see white stains in your vessels. This is due to the salts in water or hardness in water. If you spot white stains in your vessels, take half a spoon of baking soda that is readily available in the market and rub it on the vessels and wash. The stains will go away. This is an easy way to clean it.